Damn it, guys. Sorry. <sighs> I messed up again. I didn't record the first part when I was reading the dialogue. But yeah, you only miss not much. They were doubting the treasure, Clyptofo. And the cannon apparently has a nickname called the Mountaineer. I also upgrade the Loonstone necklace like three times. I don't know how I found that one org, but I have it. I guess it was from the quest or something. Uh, and then she told us she hit two keys in the really obvious place. But no one will ever think to look for it. Also, we had some funny moments with Klee. She was supposed to come and detonate the thing, but apparently she blew up some stuff and she was grounded and Kaya was supposed to come with her, but he wasn't supervising, so he got in trouble too. All right, and I'm back again. Something was in my nose. Is this what having allergies 24-7 feels like? As a dutiful maid would. <sighs> but it is what it is. Why did I even bring Noelle? What did I bring her for? Oh, because I was exploring the chasm. That's why. Don't mind the sword. I was an idiot. I summoned on a banner. And I got this. Apparently, it's one of the West, worst weapons in the game, so yeah. So, where is it? Where are you? Am I blind? Look for the key. Isn't someplace obvious here? Oh, it's in the pots. Let the show be I forgot pots are breakable. Maybe I'm wrong and it's not in the pots. Uh oh Where are you, Key? Wait, is it right there? On top of the brewery thing? It is. Hey. All right, time to go get the other one. I wonder if they respawn or do they stay like that? Sup guys. Man, he does so high damage. Imagine if he was like C6. Cause the not C6 give him like crit rate and crit damage. Mm, is that a bomb? Yep, it was a bomb. I still got hurt though. All right, and I go all the way down here. I 
think we need four more to upgrade the necklace again. I feel a trap. Yep. Super punch. Since I forgot to see the intro. Yo, and welcome to Tales of Arc. And if you're enjoying the video, the make sure you like and subscribe. Try and hit that 50 sub before New Year's. Oh, there's a quest up here. I'll do it when I get a chance. So where you want me? Oh, you want me to go back? Hey, click the foe. Make my explosive. We found the cannonballs. They're a perfect. They're in perfect shape. How do the fuse look? Not great. They can't be used anymore. How did that happen? The fuse in here have all been designed such that they are activated by a catalytic, catalytic reaction with geo. But the anomalies down here in the mines must have affected them. The geo catalytic elements within the fuse have all turned into the strange inert blue crystal. So they're all useless. Well, that's not good. We weren't prepared for such strange going on. Well, there are definitely some word in there that Paimon didn't get at all. So what happens to Nakambo without the fuses? That's not a very bright question. It was that again. Paimon couldn't hear you. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> he was like, that's a dumb ass question. Why would you ask that? If the fuse doesn't work, then they don't work. I'm just saying that without their fuse, none of the cannonballs will explode, even if you kick them around like a ball. Because on well diffuse is what makes the explosive materials explode, you know? <laughs> He's trying to dumb it down for us to understand. I'm sorry, they wrote Pyramus dialogue like that. Fuse reacts with Geo and then without the content of that cannonball and then boom, right? Yes, boom, but without their fuse, these cannonballs won't explode. Oh, uh, this is going to be tough. Aren't Geo reactions themselves inert? Uh, that's basic alchemy knowledge. That is, however, the potential energy without elements can be quite hard to estimate. Hmm, for example, if you were to pressurize geo elemental particles such that they would be densely packed inside a small vessel, an elemental reaction would generate significant explosive force all the same. That reminds Pyma of a curious ability used by the people with geo vision. How huh? then where do they hide all the geo elements they use? The principle works different for element you elemental users. That's a completely separate matter to how the miners of leeway make ad hoc fuses. You know, how does a treasure hoarder from Monster like you know all this stuff better than people from leeway? He he wanna guess, used to be, used to have a vision? Cough, well, if you trust me, I could make a simple fuse here at the crafting bench. And you know what, it's not that we don't trust you, but you are a treasure hoarder and you're not a miner either. Who's to say you won't blow us all up to sky high? Even if Paimon does trust you, it's not like Easter would. I mean, yes, I would. This guy. This guy clearly looks like he's an expert. Even if he wasn't, I'd rather he did it and not me. Yeah, didn't Z say? All right, all right, stop explaining. All right, uh, what's Paimon going to do about you? I thought he risked blowing himself up to sky high as well. If you ask Paimon, this is how all the bad guys in the stories will want it to go. Paimon, shut up. You have the worst dialogue in this entire game. But since you say so, Paimon will listen to what he has to say. All right, click the foe. Go ahead. I trust you, my man. It's not that hard, actually. It's just that there are some minute risks involved in case you're worried. We, we just need to get one vial of unmoving essential oil without with double the usual density. It's not some kind of potion. You know who we got to go to. Exactly, as I said earlier, a double density potion can also serve to catalyze an elemental explosive. I used this principle to collapse some tunnels during my time with the treasure. Um, sorry, never mind why I said. 
It's fine. We don't really care about your order days. If I might, I might ask, how minute is this risk? Well, if it's an accidental explosive explosion occur, which it might, consider the unstable nature of the concentrate essential oil. The explosive shouldn't be real able to drastically alter any geo geological formation. Oh, that's pretty small explosive then. That's fine. Pine one's not too worried. That's in any organic manner within the explosive range. My experience disintegration, breakage, leakage, separation, and no need for jargon. I get it. Pine one didn't get it, but sure, it sounds scary. He did if I set up crafting bench back at the camp, but we can first attempt to follow the format to make the essential oil here. If you don't have enough material on hand, you can find some other way to get the essential oil we need. We can continue from there. Uh, please keep the formula with you. Just follow it and we'll be fine. In any case, please be careful when walking around with that oil. Shake it too much or drop it accidentally and there might be explosive accident. All right, all right. Stop trying to scare us, all right? Also, as I was saying, this is why I'm doing one episode per mission because there's so much dialogue and my reading skills is like zip. It's like zero. Okay, so, oh, I have to make three. Say, so don't move too much. How did it go? Did you finish making the uh, movie essential oil? We got it and we took good care of it too. Ah, all right, that's it. Don't shake it. Stay now. All right, looks like this will do. Now we just need to insert the fuse into the cannonball. Cut the foam, busy himself doing the fuse. Okay, that should do it. Be careful now. Don't bump that thing around everywhere or things might get lively in here. I'm back with a new map. Go on, have a look. Thanks for your trouble. Nice. I also nothing. I'm just glad to be able to help. Yes, because you have been useless. How are things going your end? Did you find the cannonballs? Hey, careful, this one got fused in already. If you move it around too much, we're all gonna be done for. Hey, hey, when did you start putting on air? If you were the one holding the bomb, you sound pretty brave too, I'll bet. Is that a threat? Have you stopped hiding your true treasure hoarder colors already? You're getting so annoying. Can you stop jumping to conclusions? And just... Like, take his perspective into mind. We're all super close. You're shaking this bomb. We could die. I mean, it's not hard to put two and two together. Come on, I said this before. Bombs are in, in this, indiscriminate. You you go on like this, and I don't think it'll matter whether I want to blow you up or not. It's not like I can read your mind or something. Who knows what thought you're having in that mind? Jesus, woman. That is irrelevant. What's relevant is this bomb could kill us. How, how does she not, like, I feel like this should be the priority, should be number one priority on top, and then everything else is after. You treasure her all these same criminals mind with criminal mindset, and now you even got a bomb with you. Great, huh? Did her family get killed by a treasure hoarder? Is that why she's being this delusional right now? Just to clarify, I'm the one holding the bomb. I should have chose the other choice. Sorry, I don't trust this treasure hoarder. Currently, this treasure hoarder has proved more to be useful than you and your map. That works for me. I can barely respect someone who jumps at every shadow she sees either. Hey, are you two even listening? Okay, okay. All right, go ahead. So I'm not asking you to trust each other. Just shut up and let's get this done. I know, but shut up. Man, I have a word. That's true, she wasn't around to see us working on that bomb after all. Hey, listen here. Both of you kids, get together or I'll turn this car around. But if you don't work together, we're going to get nowhere fast. Just don't make me regret joining the exploration team, thanks. I know, I can just do it by myself. Wow. Aether actually got mad. Let's just drop the argument already, okay? The two of you already put up walls before you can even talk. That's no way to properly communicate. 
Since we're all on the same exploration team, let's just talk nicely, okay? Just this once. Regardless, I'm going to go operate the Mountaineer because I got a job to do. I'll go with you. I'll send the camp then. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love to help, but I think Jin Woo needs my help more. I also got to thank her for taking me in, you know? Oh, it's fine. Since Aether said so, I trust you. Not that I didn't before, but that last remark you didn't have to say. You could have just said, since Aether trusts you, and then stop. That's it. I feel that. Like, that was just a backhanded compliment. Hey! Never mind. Take back what I said, Jinwoo. That was actually really helpful. It's less shadowy now. So, does this mean this will drop too and I can destroy it? 